here for the new music. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Ladies, have you ever wondered how different your life would be if you were a man? Well, our next guest gets the opportunity to find out in Bravo's new show, In a Man's World, is a Man's World. Executive produced by Viola Davis. Let's take a look. I'm going undercover as a man. I'm working with special effects makeup artists. Everything that's feminine and beautiful about you, we are going to change into a man. He's definitely sexy. He is sexy. You're going to teach me how to sound like a man? Men have a lower center of gravity. If my family doesn't know it's me, then I can fool anyone. Did you know it was me? No. It's a man's game. You're in a man's world. I'm scared because everything is riding on this moment. Oh, wow. Her name is Pastor Sabrina McKenzie, and she is here down at the Circle Welcomer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have got to hear it all. Yes. <laughs> I've got cute boots. Nice. Yes, Thank yes. you. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Have a seat. Thank you. Wow. Oh. So, okay, so many questions. Where do we begin? <laughs> you had to really go through like a boot camp to learn how to be a man. Oh, Ooh. my God. It was so difficult. How did yes, you get involved to... in this? Let's start there. Well, I was running for state senate in Georgia, and um, I was coming, culminating the end of the election, maybe around April or so, and I get a call from the producers asking me if I want to be on the show because they're looking for successful women and I'm like I'm about to be the senator I don't know if I can do like you know a reality TV show mm -hmm. and they told me that you know that it was going to be different than most of the normal shows and that it would give me an opportunity to really talk about gender bias and mm -hmm. how difficult it could be you know at the top in certain industries and my industry is religion and politics and I was like Oh, I have a bill called the Equal Rights Amendment Bill. I can get Perfect. to talk. Yes, yeah, so I was like, okay, I'm in. I'm but did in. you know that it, it meant that you had to dress up and be and become a man? No, they tricked us. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. I had no idea. I just thought, you know, that they were going to tell the story. I didn't know that I was actually going to transform into a man. Completely wow. unrecognizable. Yes. Oh, my yes. God. No, like they made a head, a suit. They, ma they gave us hair, <laughs> fake teeth. Well, Unbelievable. Uh, in each episode, it's, it's four women who are dressed as, as men. Yes. And so it talks about, like you said, the gender bias. And yes. they make them so that they are completely unrecognizable. And were you able to go around your loved ones and did they recognize you or no? Or are we talking too much before the episode comes out? No, I did go around them and no, no one recognized me except I have an assistant. Mm -hmm. And I had to ask her questions. And so initially, she was like, no, you know, she just thought I was some guy on the street. And when I walked wow. away, she, you know, she then said, is that you? Is that you? So she, nobody could figure out that it was me. Did I mean, you get hit on? Totally... Because you were apparently, <laughs> uh, you, oh, no, no, they didn't just make you a man. I heard I someone did. say, you, you're a sexy man. Yeah, you're, you're you're I <laughs> Actually, I picked up a girl. What? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch the show. It's incredible. No, but yeah, I really did. Several women just kept coming on to me. And honestly, it made me feel like this is why I'm single. All of these women are just like, it's so easy. Is it? Yeah, no, really. If you if you transform, I'm you're gonna see. To a man, I was like, okay, this is what I'm doing wrong. It's so it was so accessible. What else did you observe that was different, you know, when you were in your man's skin? That men just have an automatic respect. They walk hmm. into the room and respect is given. Women respect is earned. Well, see, I don't wow. get it because as women, we already have our own demureness and we have our own way of walking, our own way of shifting. So what mm -hmm. kind of training did you have to undergo to try to be like a man and try to get your voice all there jumping? You go. <laughs> there without, you go. Without it sounding artificial. Can we hear it? Can we hear the man voice? Can we hear your man voice? Let's see. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Yeah, that was my meal. But if I close my eyes and I didn't see you in a white right, tight dress, then I might. I know, but see, we, we already see the pretty. So <laughs> I see the pretty. I can't put it out of my head. Like, yeah, so like, <laughs> like, what does that training look like? No, what does it look like? Different. So they hired these um, professional coaches. I had a, a movement coach. I had a vocal coach. And they would practice with us every single day. And for me, I'm ultra feminine. I, I love everything pretty, everything blingy. And so they made me take it off. They Ooh. made me, yes, they made me cut my nails. They made me come out of the lashes. And they made me take off my shoes. And I almost died. Uh, right? I, think I, just, I just was like, I'm done. How long did the training take? And how long did the process take to transform you into a man? Six hours. So I sat there for hours oh, while they lot. molded my body and my head. And then they gave me a male body suit. 
and it was extremely difficult. And then again, while I'm doing this, I'm learning how to walk, I'm learning how to talk, I'm learning how to sing. It was very, very difficult. Process. Now, it was executive produced by award-winning Viola Davis, oh, which her. is amazing. Did you get a chance to meet her and interact? No, we hadn't she, met was her. Was she involved in the process? She was, she was. She, she basically decided what um, we would have in terms of the sequence of the show. She was the executive producer, as you mentioned, and she loves the show and she loved the concept. And if there's anybody that knows about breaking the glass ceiling in Hollywood, it would be Viola. Absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah. So, as a profession, uh, we know that you ran for state senate, but you're a, a pastor. I'm a pastor. You're yes. a pastor. And, and you got pastor. to pastor as a man and as a woman in this episode. Yes. So, how was it different when you preached as a man and when you preached as a woman? Hmm. So, when I preached as a woman, it was a little difficult because most people received me. Uh, they didn't receive me initially. So, when I came out, people were looking at me side eyes. You know, sometimes how women can be. And, and I got all of that. The men were just kind of sitting down, doing their own thing on the cell phones. But when I came out as a man, there was a great deal of reverence in the people. Mm had respect some people stood up and so oh, wow. same same person same education experience knowledge it's me but just a different response well your book is book. leading in a man's world and I think this experience has only given you deeper research mm -hmm. yes definitely actually the book was written a year prior to the show oh wow yeah so it was really a prophetic I'm sure that's why indicator. they called you as well you know just that synergy yeah. of you know what she's already offering and they didn't know they didn't know they didn't know and I didn't know the show's name when they called me so they called me just based off of my work history and when I finally signed the contract and understood the name I was like hey this is what God gave me a year ago yes yeah. So, okay, this means I should do this. Call it yes. to you. Manifest yeah, that's that's right. Right. Yes. Yes. it right now. Yes. Christmas is amazing. So. <laughs> oh, Pastor Sabrina McKenzie, thank you so much for being here and sharing your story with us. This is experience. exciting. I can't wait to watch be, the show. Me neither. And Please you guys come. should We're wait to see. We're going to have a premiere here. That, oh, need to come on through. Yes. And be sure to see Pastor Sabrina's mm -hmm. episode in A Man's World on Bravo on October 15th.